Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. So I got my package from Kimberly Fisher, the Intuit Publishing Company, which she's the one who did the Intuit Oracle. So lovely cards, lovely. I'm gonna go ahead and do a review and open up my package. So this is my package, I'm so excited. I actually got it on Friday. Um, it was a little late because there was a glitch in the system and um, she actually said that I was the first one to do the pledge on the deck. So here we are, we're gonna go ahead and uh, open it. So I got all three decks, um, the Intuit Controversa with keywords, the Intuit Controversa two times, and the Intuit Tarot Controversa Classic. All right. Well, let's go ahead and see. I'm so excited. I don't even know which one to open up first. Let's go ahead and open up the green box. So it comes, um, apparently this isn't the um, box box. It's just protecting the box. So here's the box. Nice. I love her cards. Um, one time she was emailing me and telling me her life story. It was weird, just like out of nowhere, but um, yeah, she's a really nice girl. Uh, I love her art style and her decks are really nice. So what we have here. I don't know if these ones came with crystals, um, but you can probably go on her website, theintuit.com. Okay, so here's what we got. Box one. Oh, look at the backing. It's really beautiful. Real psychedelic. That's one thing I was attracted to. Um, okay, so. The cards are fairly thin. Um, I'm surprised because these are a little bit thicker. So. Ooh. Kind of thin. I was hoping more for it to be like her first cards, like playing cards, or like a Mystic Moon um, cards. So she has the planets and the signs on them. Kind of reminds me of my um, girlfriend, Cynthia, from Chair of Thunder, the way she does her cards with the meanings. The Magician. I don't... It's almost like... I don't even know if you can shuffle these without... Uh... Let me try. They're really easy to shuffle, but um, the cardstock is a little bit different. Let's see, so 
so you can see um, how the card stock is compared to I like this card stock it's really durable compares to Six of coins. I'm not going to show you all of them um, because we got two more decks to look at. But this is to give you an idea of what they look like. They do have the meanings on them. Um, Ten of Wands, Eight of Cups. The art is really beautiful. I'm just hoping maybe on her next go around the cardstock will be a little thicker. Okay, so there is a little booklet. Tarot is a tool for accessing the higher knowing of the subconscious mind. Tarot is not a tool or reliability predicting the future. So this is the little booklet that comes inside. She says, I really dislike reading reversals and have discovered that many tarot readers feel the same way. I find the inverted image so distracting that I can't focus on what it might mean. Why make cards with words? Okay. My goal was in designing the Controversa Tarot was to create a tool that would be fun, inspiring, and easy to use. During the early days of my learning process, experienced tarot readers suggest I write words on my cards. This process took several weeks, but once I covered my cards with words and phrases, gleaned from reputable tarot resources, and ability to decode the messages hidden in the cards, increased um, spontaneously and it wasn't long before I had mastered the basic meanings I found I could access my intuition with much greater ease and clarity. All right, so if you get this deck, I mean, you could read the little book. So she has the tips here, the terror journal, um, photographic journal about so this is about, okay, so that is the green deck. Green, let's see the purple deck. I was hoping the cardstock would have been a little thicker. But I mean, the art is really beautiful on them. So. This is the purple box. I keep thinking it's a flip. I was really impressed with her um, Intuit Oracle because it had a box of magnets, it came with crystals. Okay, so these look a little bit darker. Or is it just that one card? Well, there's still, um, 
a short meaning on them. So, Divine Masculine, the Hierophant, I guess the, um, it has that same feeling as her first cards, except for it's not glossy. Which is good because while you're doing your readings on camera, it won't glare, which is a good thing. The art is fabulous. There we go, the star. Full moon in Aquarius. Wish granted. The moon. See, now I have the light on behind me and you, there's no glare on them. That's a good thing. So they don't shine into the light, which is a good thing. All right, so they do have the signs on the top. Four of Wands. Celebrating Union. Four of Coins. Four of Swords. Three of Cups. So there we go, we have the, this one is just with the classic. So this is the classic, it doesn't have so much writing on it. We don't have time to go through all of them, but, um, Better times ahead. Family legacy. Nine of Cups is the Pisces symbol. Ten of Swords has the Gemini. Sagittarius. Virgo. Gemini, Pisces, Sagittarius, Virgo, Gemini, Scorpio, Pisces. I like this one. It's like I've seen this before. This picture looks familiar. It's like I've seen it before. Messenger of Cups, Romantic Gestures, Messenger of Wands, Messenger of Coins. Ten of Wands, Heavy Load, King of Cups, King of Wands, King of Coins, King of Swords, Queen of Cups. Well, she has all the suits all together. So. Queen of Wands. Queen of Coins. Uh, my friend Cynthia has like an Indian looking lady, but it's on the Queen of Wands with like a nose piercing. Queen of Swords. The Moon. That's a real pretty card. The sun, judgment, the angels in it, that's nice. The world, ace of swords, 
All right, so that is the Intuit Tarot Controversa Classic. Again, it comes with a little booklet inside. I'd love to show you guys, but it would take forever to show all three decks. All right, so here is the pink box. Here we have the, sorry about that, the Intuit Controversa two times. So let's go see, I wanna, I'm curious, um, two times what it means with the keywords and the classic or something is on both sides. Okay, let's see. So Queen of Swords and then Queen of Swords. So I think it's just the classic on one side and then the keywords on the other side. So instead of having all these, um, my bet would be to get the this deck, the Controversa two times because it has, I mean, you don't have to get it with the keywords if you don't want to, um, but this one, I thought there was one without the keywords. That's weird. Maybe not. The Queen of Swords. So it's kind of like, bigger picture with just a short keyword, if that makes sense. So I would suggest um, to get this deck that way. I would suggest to get this deck if you, because it looks plain on one side and then it has all the keywords on the other side. I mean, that's up to you. So, classic is, okay, let me just see here the difference. I could have swore it said when it was, okay, so it, it would be more like the other side, classic. I thought there was one without the keywords. That's what I thought. So, okay. So there you have it. Uh-oh. Now I'm getting the, um, are all the books the same? That's weird. Okay. So we kind of went through the other one. That would be two times. So I recommend if you're gonna buy this deck to get the Intuit Tarot Controversa two times because one side is plain, unless you like the backs on the other one. But this one has both short and longer meanings. So, I mean, it's up to you though, whatever you think. I mean, I like the backings on the cards, but um, this one has both, so. Or you can get the Controversa with the keywords because it has the back on it, but that the back on that one's green. So the high priestess. Um, oh, 
Okay, so this was the card that was, there was a glitch in the system and I guess um, she didn't put the keywords on the high priestess. So she has to send everybody the high priestess card, if that makes sense. So yeah, that we got an email with that on it or in like where you go to the Kickstarter and you like remind they remind you to go there and check it out or whatever so it was in there in the message the empress divine feminine the emperor divine masculine All right, so that's the two times. One side has more detail, except for, well, the high priestess. So I mix them up. Okay. okay. And there you have it. Death. Temperance. And the temperance on the other side. Harmony. Two becoming one. Alchemy, balance, temper, harmony inner peace, moderation, tranquility, patience, purpose. See, I see the temperance card as a twin flame card to me. And look, she put two becoming one. Interesting. All right, you guys. So that is the pledge that I did on Kickstarter with Kimberly Fisher and the Intuit Tarot Controversa. And I got all three different decks. So there you have it. And then I believe, let's see if her email or his, her website is classic. She says, uh, I love this version because the pictures are a little larger and the space is uncluttered. Use this edition when you feel confident in your reading ability, but like to have the help of the key phrases in the upright and reverse position. Kembring. So, um... The box doesn't look like that. Do I like have to go and order it? I wonder, okay, so I wonder if this box and the card printing is different. Like if I was to go and order it from her website, I'm gonna email her and ask her that question. So, I mean, you might wanna ask her is the card stock different on the order on the website than it was on the Kickstarter campaign or like maybe she has crystals with the one on her website. So yeah, I wonder, that's weird because the box I thought was a magnet. Looks a little bit different. Huh. That's interesting. I thought the boxes were going to be magnets, actually. All right, so there you have it. Kimberly Fisher. Uh oh, let me mix these up. Okay, the pink goes with both sides. The purple goes with the purple back. And so, there you go. That's all the decks. 
So you can go to intuitoracle.com, um, I believe, to order this deck. Let's see if there's any information on that. I'm sorry. Yes, so right here is the www.contra slash versa dot intuit oracle dot com or you can go to www.intuitpublishing.com and follow us on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram and what is that? YouTube. So you can go to the website right there. All right, so that's the website you can go to, I think, to go ahead and order these cards. And there you have it. Thank you guys so much. Um, stay tuned for some more Oracle deck reviews. I bought so many decks. Um, also, me and my friend Cynthia, we are giving away her lovely deck, the Honest Truth Tarot. Six of Wands, look at that. Um, we're going to give away, once we hit a thousand subscribers, we're going to go ahead and give away one Honest Truth Tarot deck. And then I have a lot of other products that are like $40 or up. And if you don't like that, I can always give you money. Um, but anyways... Once we reach a thousand subscribers, we're gonna give away a deck. So go to Cynthia at Cherub's Thunder channel and subscribe and go ahead and subscribe down below. That will also help me, um, the more subscribers I have will help me pay for all the decks that I invested to show you. Thank you so much guys for stopping by and stay tuned for some of my really interesting decks that I got, um, like, they're different. I haven't seen anybody do reviews on them, but I got a couple um, really interesting decks that I'm going to do more reviews on, okay? So thank you so much for stopping by. Go ahead and hit subscribe. I love you guys. Stay safe. Thank you. Bye-bye.